All right, so welcome back to a little cooking video here. Uh, the last video I made for you, I showed you how I uh, slow cooked uh, beef. It's a uh, flank steak and I slow cooked it at uh, uh, around three to four hours. It was around four hours and it stayed overnight in the, uh, in the slow cooker. Then I took it out, as I explained towards the end of that video, I took it out and put it in a bowl like this. It was about almost five pounds uh, this should be probably around four pounds right here of beef. And um, it's absolutely delicious. I put also some of the broth in here. And th th this can keep in the refrigerator for probably a, w a full week. It has some of the fat on there, which is good, which keeps it fresh. And what I'm going to do here for you today is I'm going to show you what um, I'll often do. Is I'll just get this and I'm going to I'm just curious as to how heavy um, or how, how much this is here so I'm gonna actually cook um, I've already eaten one meal today and do that 249 grams right here, which is 8.8 ounces. That's a good amount. So I'll, I will, uh, so I'm going to cook 8.8 ounces here of this. This is my second meal today. I'm going to turn that on to about a medium heat and I'm going to cut this up here. So about almost nine, almost nine ounces of meat. This is my second main meal for the day and probably this will be the last meal I'll eat today. And as I explained before, I've been on predominantly a low carb, sort of carnivore type based diet for the past many months, actually almost a year. And uh, so I cut that up. That has some nice, good marbling in there. So it has a nice amount of fat in there. But just to uh, make it a little more delicious, I'm gonna put a little bit. Actually, probably it's probably that's probably a good tablespoon and a half of butter, cherry gold butter. So I'm just gonna melt that in there. Uh, you don't need too much butter in there. And just out of the refrigerator, I got a pepper. I do eat some vegetables here and there. So I'm gonna have, just with this, I'm gonna have uh, almost a half of a pepper cut up, just because uh, I like the crunchiness of this. I'm not gonna cook the pepper though with the meat. But I'm just gonna take that put that on the plate, have that sort of as a side dish like that. So I got, uh, I got my little vegetables here. That's optional. You can also, you know, put potatoes or whatever you want there. So after this butter melts a little bit, I'm just going to throw all this in there like this. Almost nine, almost nine ounces of beef here. Second main meal of the day for me. I usually eat around two, two main meals and maybe a snack or two uh, in the window of probably about five hours or so. So I, I ate my first meal today at around 1 p.m. It was bacon and eggs. I had a little bit of dark chocolate just because I, I took a nap and I felt like eating something sweet. So I had a little, um, little dark chocolate. And I had also one of these drinks. Uh, I know I'm trying these things out. Slim Fast Keto drinks. It was just a little snack that I had earlier. 
and then now it is a few hours later it's about 6 30 p.m so um when i eat this i'll probably will not eat anymore if i do it might be just some a little bit of fruit or something like that towards the end of the night uh, but that's my typical kind of diet plan that i've been following for the last i would say probably 10 or 11 months or so you know and it takes some tweaking it takes some some getting used to but once you get it down once you get it down it's uh it's pretty easy to follow and you know you can you can remain on a nice low carb diet and lose the pounds like i said i've lost about 45 pounds over the last couple of years but you know i wasn't keto or low carb during that time i don't know why this isn't flipping around but over the last year or so i really have been predominantly animal-based diet predominantly carnivore based diet with mostly eggs meat a little bit of cheese i did have a little bit of cheese today for my first meal i had a little bit of cheese and salami actually earlier today before i had my bacon and eggs but you know if i were to count the calories in all of the food i've eaten today again the calories are you know probably well under 2000 so, you know, to, to maintain, if you count calories, which I really don't count calories, but I think if I did, all my calories would be definitely somewhere in the range around probably 1900 calories or so. So, you know, I don't overeat. When I do eat, I, I try not, you know, I try not to overeat. I think, you know, eight ounces or so of, of beef at one sitting is good that's sufficient especially if it's uh, a main meal and, and it's not a, it's not a snack meal but it's a main meal a little bit more salt don't be scared of salt you know i've been reading a lot about salt and um, a lot of people are actually deficient in sodium so uh, it's good to uh, it's good to use the salt. It's not going to kill you, as the as some doctors like to have you believe. And so what what I usually do is uh, very often I'll just cut it up like this and I'll just eat it cold. So I don't always heat it up like this, but I feel like uh, it's Sunday. I feel like having a treat today, so I'm heating it up with a little butter. But some uh, oftentimes throughout the week. You know, when I eat it tomorrow and the next day, when I when I take it from here, I usually just cut it up like this into strips. And uh, I add some salt, maybe perhaps a little butter on top or perhaps some uh, little oyster sauce on top just to make it palatable. And then um, I'll just eat it cold. So it's a, you don't always have to heat it up necessarily. That's beginning to look really good now. And it doesn't take very long. So it just takes a few minutes, probably three minutes or so. And they've got all this on the plate. There we have good quality beef and good quality nutrition and this my friends is my second main meal of the day a little bit of pepper and some delicious beef fried in a little bit of Kerrygold butter so there you have it until next time